Hey everybody, this is Caesar with Small Engine Velocity coming at you with a moto vlog on the Honda Ruckus. I know it's been a little while since I've ridden the Honda Ruckus. Other bikes have edged it out, but there is a reason. The reason is I was trying to install a very large 30 millimeter OKO on here and my god it gave me trouble. I have ideas as to why it gave me trouble but I ended up just going back to my stock what is this 24 millimeter carb I mean it runs great it's got auto choke I don't have to worry about it and it and it makes me go from A to B running great so anyways today is uh a day off kind of i have to go to work later on i have to do system maintenance tonight and it's gonna i'm gonna do it all night but uh yeah i'm just uh, kind of riding around right now see how everything is enjoy this first fall i guess it's still fall right it's first fall ride where the sun is out still wearing uh my jacket don't have winter gloves yet but uh it's not as cold as it could be so we're not really suffering or anything like that there is a harley up there that i'm trying to catch up to so i can ride with it because uh so we can be cool together but uh oh he's turning never mind i'm not gonna hang out with harley guy today anyways so yeah she's back running right accidentally nicked my paint on here again but whatever it was better than it was before um i did learn see it's more glossy than it was before so what i did with the spray paint can was i put it in extremely not extremely very hot water for about 15 minutes i mean it is 40 degrees outside i still painted it and it still came out smooth so yeah that technique works warm up the paint so that it gives a better smoother comes out of the can better and stuff like that still need to do some other cleaning on here but i'm just glad that she's i get to ride it now i have some extra cables and junk that are sticking out that i didn't really wire tuck oh, i forgot to close my trickle charger close the trickle charger port so anyways how's everybody doing is everybody riding in the winter or are you in one of those winter states where you're putting your bike away? Because I'm now starting to get some uh, questions about as far as advice. What to do to put your bike into storage. Uh, I am not familiar with this nor have I ever followed any type of process because I ride year round. Because I'm in Texas and in Houston and sometimes in the winter it's 70 degrees out, 70 degrees outside. Just really depends. But uh, from my understanding is uh, the use of a trickle charger is very important. And then uh, putting that fuel saver, it's like a storage fuel thing. It's something you put in the gas to mitigate the uh, effects of uh, ethanol in your gasoline. So that seems like something that would be good. So you don't mess up any rubber or plastic or seals or floats or you don't get your carb all jacked up. I'm pretty sure you still have to clean your carb. I mean, I can't imagine the fuel sitting it that long. And when you put the fuel saver in, I don't really know if you're supposed to like kind of run it through a little bit before you actually put it through like start the engine up and let it run through some of the fuel saver oh my gosh christmas stuff is up already it's not even thanksgiving yet and christmas stuff's up uh, i'm having a little trouble with the idle but that's just because i jacked with it i also jetted up to a 110 um it seems to be doing good 110 and a 34 slow jet on a stock carb that I love right now. I don't know how people deal with that freaking choke and all that junk. Anyways, eventually I'll get there because you know me. Eventually I'm going to BBK this thing. More than likely it's going to go to a 171 or a 180. I think that's enough power for me on a scooter. So, yeah. Hills. 
slowed me down by five miles per hour. Anyways, I normally don't drive out in this direction either. I'm just driving for the sake of driving so I can talk to everybody. X22 GT is going well. Um, I, I'm, I'm really liking it as a commuter bike. It's uh, it's just got that commuter feel to it. Oh, something's sounding weird. Okay, I'm turning right. What happened? What happened? What happened? Something come loose? Am I losing fuel? Did my float bowl go dead? Oh no. Now I gotta troubleshoot. I just put the car back in like literally an hour ago. I'm seeing air bubbles in the fuel. Oh, I'm out of gas. <laughs> That's what it is. Oops. I forgot my gauge is broken. Or I haven't finished putting it in yet. Yep. <laughs> My bad. Good thing I good thing I ran out of gas at a gas station. <laughs> now I'm gonna use a scooter like a scooter. <laughs> My bad. My bad. Let's go to this graffiti ridden pump. Open up the tank and put some beautiful precious fuel inside of here. <laughs> Anyways, that's another thing that I'm trying to work on. Uh, I found I have a fuel gauge that's aftermarket, but apparently what it needs is a Met, Honda Met sensor. And the Honda Met sensor, hold on, the Honda Met sensor is supposed to be more than just good, bad. Please lift the pendle. Select grade. No wonder there was air bubbles. It's because I had no more gas. Duh. And here I thought I broke something. Let's see what empty looks like. 1.3 gallons. That is the whole tank. So actually the tank's rated to 1.2. Probably because I ran under that bridge. There you go. I hear fuel pumping in now. <laughs> Did you see the fuel pump through? There we go. Love that chicken from Popeyes. Uh oh. Gotta fix the idle, like I said. So, for those of you who are like, Gee, I think it sucks, see? It's because I need to adjust the idle. Okay, so there was that little adventure. I ran out of gas. Fortunately, I ran out of gas next to Raceway. This episode is brought to you by Raceway and their $1.07 gallon gas. There's also E85. I wonder if you can get a ruckus to run on E85 fuel. What do you think? And why would I want to do that anyway? But anyways, yeah, I was talking about the X22 GT. Uh, the Expect has got a bunch of videos coming out soon. Some oil changes, some mods to the ruckus. I got a lot of whole stuff to record 
this weekend and if everything goes well then we should have plenty of videos to watch next week uh, reminder everybody that uh, I have updated my uh, release schedule from it's a Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday videos now and I've also introduced the guest spot um, now I'm going to probably gonna have a regular I uh, you may have met him before master blaster uh, to do some mods uh, since I don't have a get motor anymore but I still want to do get parts uh, he's gonna be my guinea pig for get pieces this dump truck dump truck oh shoot dump truck even know where I'm going I'm just kind of just driving in a direction I was like a tad bit too low so when I drop the throttle it kind of dies a little bit anyways another thing I wanted to ask everybody what should I do next on the ruckus I'm kind of running out of ideas short of buying new rims that cost me a bazillion dollars um, I want to do a custom seat but that mean that's not much of a video uh, and uh, I think uh, full throttle, wide open throttle, he already did it, so I don't need to do it anymore. Um, I still want to do a custom seat. I really can't think of anything else. I'm, I mean, a big bore kit, but I really wanted to save that for like next year. I want to get used to what a 150 feels like so that, I don't know, do I even need to go 171? I mean, I go fast enough as it is already, or is it just not enough? I want to get on a freeway. That's what I want to do. One of my goals before the summer hits next year is to do a Honda Ruckus freeway ride. What do you think, guys? Is that a worthy goal? Anyways, I'm about to turn green. I really love riding the Ruckus. I come out with one of these videos every so often called I love riding my ruckus and it's true I love riding it even when it's cold now that one day that last moto vlog that I did where I was riding and it was like 30 degrees outside yeah that was a little bit too cold <laughs> like not a little bit too cold that was a lot too cold there's a custom motorcycle shop here that I always wanted to stop by and take pictures with. And I really need to fix the tachometer here. But anyways, I'm just babbling on. Well, this is Jones Road. I can turn right on Jones Road. There you go. Then I'll just come home from here. That'll be my gigantic square ride. If I didn't have to work later on today, then I could just do this all day. Well, at least until the kids come home. Billy's at, ah! <laughs> I wonder if Grandpa Billy's at the shop today. Seems like everybody's got a shop now. Maybe I can check. I can remember how to get there. Is it right here? Oh, yeah, I think it's right here. Yeah, it's right here. Or is this a neighborhood? No. This is a warehouse place. Yeah, this is a warehouse place. I think it's down here. Anyways, I'm gonna go visit and say hi, see what's up. If I can even, if I'm even in the right place, which I don't think I am. No, I'm not. Definitely doesn't look right. <laughs> it's a place. It's just not the place that I was looking for. Okay, well, I guess I don't know where it is. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Thank you for watching me and riding with me on my moto vlog with my Ruckus with the stock car back in because the OKO OK -OK car was pissing me off. 
If anyone's got any tips on the OKO carb, please let me know before I take that OKO carb and put it in the KP Mini, which would probably love it. Probably a good idea. I probably should do that. I don't know, 30 millimeter carb. It's still a 150 motor, just like this. I don't know if it's gonna be any better. Was it down this road? I must have passed it already. Oh well. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I will see everybody in the next video. Da 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 da.